You're watching Option Rally TV. I'm your host, Amy Anderson. Here's a quick preview for May 21st, 2013. The land of the sinking yen. Can Chevron beat Exxon for oil supremacy? And lastly, scared investors run back to gold. Your daily review is starting now. The U.S. dollar rebounded against the Japanese yen during this morning's trade session after falling on Monday about concerns that the yen has fallen too far, too fast against its major rivals, said Amory. In Asian trading today, the U.S. dollar to Japanese yen rose 0.29%. U.S. dollar to Japanese yen opened Monday at 102.88, then dipped to 102.27 before recovering back to 102.50, continuing into Tuesday's trading. A quick glance at the Fortune 500 list of top American companies reveals Exxon Corporation at number two and Chevron Corporation at number three. Naturally and heavily connected to oil prices, this is the time of the year when traveling begins and oil and gas begin to get out of the pumps and into the cars and planes. Watch for the spike and rise in Exxon and oil in general. Exxon opened Monday at 91.68 and rose to 92.52 throughout the end of the day. After a dismal start to the week during Monday's Asian session, gold and other metals rebounded significantly during U.S. trading and the buying continued Tuesday. Finally. The world reacted to the U.S. dollar not doing well and has begun repaying attention to gold. In this such case, the investors needed to see no alternative currency option against the dollar. Gold opened Monday at 1341.95 and rose 51 U.S. dollars to 1392.45, continuing into Tuesday. For today's market watch, Japan is on center stage. The Japan trade balance measures the difference in value between imported and exported goods and services over the reported period. A positive number indicates that more goods and services were exported than imported, a held to the Japanese yen. Numbers are being released at 7.50 p.m. Eastern Time today. I'm Amy Anderson. For your daily dose of the market, follow me at OptionRally.com. See you tomorrow.